When Wyatt found this 2001 Laser Red Mustang SVT Cobra for sale, it had a rod knock. The car's engine was basically toast, and the car was sitting for sale, and he was able to strike up a deal with the owner. In this picture here, you can see the laser red paint, and you can also notice that it has tinted taillights. He was hoping that those taillights were still the 9901 Cobra export style taillights, the ones that come in the Cobras with the amber turn signals on the bottom. And if you look closely, you can see there is some amber showing through there. So the question is, would they be saved easily and would they have been painted or tinted or something like that. So that was something that we're going to have to look at. But the car itself only had 56,000 miles on it. So it looked pretty good and you can see that it actually has a set of aftermarket wheels. Those are 10th anniversary wheels like the 10th anniversary SVT Cobra except those are chrome and have a deeper lip on them. But the engine was hurt on this car and so he was able to work out a deal to get his truck and trailer and go pick up the car. So he had a fun trip going and getting the car and that was an experience in itself. But he did go pick up the car and bring it home and he is a diesel technician by trade and he does have access to a lift so he did get the car in there and started pulling it apart and dropping the engine out and looking underneath the car still has the independent rear suspension and a nice exhaust system and things like that but he started working on getting the old engine out and finding a replacement so here's some pictures of that getting the engine out here's the uh, plaque that has the two signatures by the SVT Romeo workers who built this engine by hand all the Cobra engines I believe from 96 and up were hand built so pretty cool to see the Romeo niche line plaque there on the valve cover and the signatures and everything now a great choice for a replacement which is what he did was getting an engine out of a Lincoln Aviator. So the Lincoln Aviator is an SUV and it's not the Navigator, it's a little bit smaller and instead of a 5.4 dual overhead cam like the Navigator had, the Aviator actually had the same engine as a Mach 1 or kind of like a Cobra. So not exactly the same but very very similar. So it has the 4.6 liter 32 valve dual overhead cam engine. And something unique about this and something cool to the story is the Aviator was only built from 2003 to 2005. It was one of the shortest production models that Lincoln ever had. And the cool thing about it was the Aviator program had that 32 valve engine. So the Aviator is based off of like an Explorer and the V8 Explorer had the two valve per cylinder or it would be the 16 valve for 6 liter in it. Uh, but this one had the 32 valve and that program actually had the cylinder heads and camshafts and everything for this project and the 2003 and 2004 Mustang Mach 1 and Terminator Cobra both benefited from the Aviator program and so those camshafts are not as aggressive as the 2001 Cobra uh, camshafts but uh, they were still really good cams and they were even great for the supercharged application of the 0304 Cobra and so the heads on these cars are very sought after because they have the nine thread cylinder heads. I'm not sure if the 03 aviators did or maybe some of the O4s didn't but a lot of people are getting these nine thread spark plug cylinder heads that are revised coolant uh, heads everything's great about these I believe they had the DV casting nine thread heads on most of the aviators but then the late aviators had the DC casting heads and so if you can pick up a late aviator engine or even the cylinder heads you're in good luck because those are the best heads that Ford made for the 4.6 liter as a matter of fact one of my yellow Mach 1's my other yellow Mach 1 had a set of DC heads on it and I don't know how they got on there um, it's been said that if the engine has been rebuilt by Ford 
they reman the engine and they put the DC heads on the 03 Cobra, 04 Cobras, and Mach 1s that needed engine rebuilds. Um, I heard you could also buy those DC heads out of the Ford Racing catalog. And so I didn't see a reman plaque on my yellow Mach 1s engine, so I assumed that the previous owner had gotten those heads out of the uh, Ford Racing catalog and so those are pretty uh, expensive heads so just kinda cool to know and uh, this is something that a lot of people talk about aviator heads and cams are the same as an 03 Mach 1 or Cobra so pretty cool and this is a good idea for a lot of cars now it doesn't have the forged crankshaft that the manual Mach 1 would have so this has a 6 bolt uh, crankshaft that's six bolts for the flywheel to bolt to so you would need a different flywheel one that like a GT would have um, but the good thing about this engine is it is almost identical to what's in an automatic Mach 1 so the cast crank which is non forged obviously is still good and it's going to handle a lot of power and Ford really only put those forged cranks in to be very safe with high RPM and you know strength and durability but um, it'll do just fine with the cast crank and you know my bullet Mustang has a Ford Racing cast crank in it and it'll handle over 600 horsepower so it's a good option and I think this is a great way to go and this is something that uh, would work out perfectly for him so he got the old engine out and you can see it was kind of dirty underneath there and everything and uh, got to taking it apart taking the valve covers off and everything and um, so there's the old engine I believe coming out of the car and then he got to putting it in the car so now look how beautiful it is and not only uh, is it cleaning up but those tail lights we talked about they did just have um, I believe it was tint on them that came off so those came out perfect they look beautiful those tail lights go for a thousand dollars these days for a nice clean set or more so looking really good laser red he cleaned it up very nicely and uh, I love laser red that was the color of my first Mustang very nice and so here you can see the uh, 01 Cobra seats Really nice suede in the middle with the dark charcoal leather. Just beautiful looking seats in this car. So here's some interior shots. Looking really nice. Remember this is only a 56,000 mile car. So looks really good in there. Even the bolster on the side is in really good shape. Mine is worn through on my Mach 1 with 90,000 miles. Um, it's just something that happens. But the back seats look really good. Very nice car. Now, I really like that Wyatt saved this car, because he really did. There are people who are out there getting these cars and parting them out for the front bumper and the tail lights, cutting the catalytic converters off them, and then scrapping the car, parting out the rest of the car, because they can sell it for parts, they can make a lot of money off of it, and I think that's terrible. So, I love that he saved such an awesome car, and anybody who parts out a car like this, that can be saved relatively easily or has a straight body maybe just needs an engine or even in some cases runs fine they just want to part the car out because of the value of the parts is not really an enthusiast because if anybody really loved these cars they would respect the car and they would keep it running and it's all about the money and that really starts to bother me you know there are a lot of people who will never have a Cobra like this a lot of people have nice Mustangs but they will never even have a Cobra so this car is an incredible car and it just really is too bad to see people parting these out I've done a story about one recently where the car had even a running engine and everything and they still decided to part it out to try to make more money about it so we'll get to that later so um, for that I just say Wyatt's a real Mustang hero in this case taking this car doing what he should have done to it doing what I would have done to it put an aviator engine in it get it going again and enjoying it and so this is a really nice car and it does have a few flaws and we'll show that here there's even a video of it in the end but the A pillar had broken clips on it and so you could kind of see there's a little bit of light showing through there not a big deal the car does have some more blemishes. The quarter panel has a little bit of a dent there, like my bullet does too. Somebody probably backed into it when they were turning. But overall, the car is in great condition. Like I said, 56,000 miles. has a nice Borla exhaust on it. It is kind of rubbing the bumper there, kind of burning the bumper a little bit. It's got the cracked cowl that 
a lot of them have. A little scratch there on the back bumper. It had, uh, you can see the burnage there on the left of the exhaust tip. You know, some more scuffs on the bottom of the bumper there. In the front, the uh, bumper has some scratches on it there, not a big deal. Another scratch there on the fender. Um, but overall, nice looking car. And this isn't his first rodeo either. He's done this before. And he's had quite a few Mustangs. This is his black 97 Cobra, I believe. And a uh, really nice car. And he's had that one for a while. And he also has a Rio Red 99 Cobra. So that's next to it here. And here's another picture of the Rio Red and the laser red Cobras, so pretty cool, and he uh, did a nice swap on that one too. So here's a little bit of a walk around that Wyatt did when he was selling the car to show what it sounded like, to show the imperfections, just a nice sales walk around, some good footage of the car. Oh, but real quick, before we get into that video, check this out. This is a great example of the 99 Cobra versus the 01 Cobra. I do have some videos that talk about the differences, but this is a great example. You can see the spoilers are different, and you can see that the 01 Cobra on the left has the actual Cobra letters in the bumper, and the 99 Cobra just has Mustang in the back bumper. So that makes the 01 Cobra very unique. It's a one year only, and it has the Cobra letters in it, unlike the 99 that was the same as any GT rear bumper. try going through and buffing it. I don't know yet. It's not perfect. Roof looks fine. I think that's just, yeah, that's not my best. A few nicks here. Interior's good. I put some stitching on there. This is war. Stitching, just some quick dye. Chassis has. 156,444 miles, CD6, Mach 460 sound, typical CD6 broke. Everything looks fine. There's some minor wear on the bolster over here. I've got some stuff in here I need to clean out yet. Fairly dark tint. And the A pillar over here. I don't know if you can see through it. Yep. I'm going to try taking this off and fixing this just the clips were put on wrong. I think this car was repainted once in its life. It's not perfect. Not bad. I'll get some underhood shots. BBK cold air intake with a BBK throttle body. Uh, BBK headers with a Mac H pipe or Pro Chamber, whatever the heck they call it these days. Uh, the engine's out of an 05 Lincoln Aviator, so it's got the 9-thread DC heads with the uh, 6015cc Illuminator block. Still stock rotating assembly, similar to Cobra, less the forged crank. It's just got a cast iron 6-bolt crank. It's got Borla Attack catback from the Mac Pro Chamber, what I believe it is. So that sounds pretty rowdy. 
have to see if I can find something to prop this up on. I'm gonna stick it on the tree. actually gets really interesting because he actually traded this 01 Cobra for a Terminator roller. So that's a 2003 zinc yellow Mustang Cobra, also known as a Terminator, and he's always been wanting to put one of these back together and have one of these, and this car was just the car for him, and it has a really cool story. The owner of this car actually was trying to sell it so they could get this blue Mustang GT back, which their family owned previously, so really cool story. It really made Wyatt happy and the new owner happy. Everybody was happy in this case. And so the way that really worked out was Wyatt traded the 01 Cobra for the 03 Terminator Cobra. And then they were able to sell the 01 Cobra to the guy's girlfriend to help buy the blue GT back with the funds. And basically they're engaged to get married. So it was kind of a big... I believe they're engaged, either that or their boyfriend, girlfriend, and uh, basically it worked out in a way where Wyatt could get the Terminator Cobra and this family and friends could have the Owen Cobra and the um, Sonic Blue, I believe, GT. And so the new owner of the Owen Cobra did want to get the car dynoed and see how much power it made, and it was right in line with what a Mach 1 or an Owen Cobra would make. It made uh, 291 at the wheels, 293 at the wheels, and then 305 torque and 309 torque. So right where it should be. These cars with bolt-on should make around 300 wheel horsepower. So really cool story, really cool to see that. And like I said, this isn't his first rodeo. He has done a lot of these and he has a really cool YouTube channel that has a few videos on it now. It's called Wrenching with Wyatt and I love watching that channel. I've gone through and watched every video on there and he has projects just like I do. You know, as a matter of fact, Wyatt and I uh, call each other and we talk for like three hours and we just had a great time talking and sharing stories. We are so much alike and it's really great to be connected with people like this through the internet. So here's his YouTube channel. He has some great videos on working on the 32 valve engines and swapping and saving these cars. So really cool, uh, really great guy. I really enjoyed watching his videos. And so this is one of uh, the project cars he had and I think he did a great job. Again, I think he saved this car and uh, I really like what he's done here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more Mustang content.